Well, while I was sitting here off camera, the uh, poor, poor ship tried blasting me open. You're just a little short. A little. You can do better than that. I believe you might. All right, hey everybody, our fearless here. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker HD. Last time we wrapped up the remainder of the Forbidden Fortress, and this time we are going to be doing the rest of the Triforce shards, except for one. So our first destination is going to be at Overlook Island, all the pretty much all the way at the eastern portion of the map, northeastern part. Since last time we finished up the uh, Wind Temple. Awaken the Master Swords to its true potential, so now we do even more damage. And yeah, so this time we are going to be pretty much wrapping things up because our destination is going to be Overlook Island out this way. Nothing really of note along the way, so I'll see you all there. Alright. Took a little bit, but we are finally here, so... With this in the overworld, we have some few things that we can do. Our first destination is going to be right up here. Alright, you have to uh, zoom a little bit closer, mate. Alright, can we target this tower? Okay, fine. Wait, stop it. Please stop. Put it away and get out. Yeah, at the end of the Let's Play, I'm still going to be struggling with sailing. So, what we want to do is head up these little uh, tree things here. So, trees are going to be your grapple points throughout much of the overworld. There's really two islands you can really have note. So,. You can head snag him. Oh yeah, I forgot. Eh, I really don't care about the chew jelly. Please lock on. There we go. Alright, so. Some chews of note. We have ourselves our little hole here. Heading up to the very top, though. Top of the island. Some uh, stuff to refill yourself on. Rupees, hearts, all that fun stuff. Because down this hole is something a little bit fun. Set in. Alright, so welcome to another one of these little rooms. Let me just go on ahead, get things all situated that I want. Um, I don't know if this one. Hold the boomerang. Alright then, so. Go ahead and blast this open. And, red ruby. So once again, these items are pretty beneficial for items. I guess I'm collecting. I, I'm just blasting this open because one of these should be full of money, I think. It's not as useful as, he as Head Island. That island is the best for farming rupees. Yeah, this one just providing some small rupee mounts. Okay, this one is the money one. So it's just this one up in this corner contains most of the money. So this time, well, we have a fully powered master sword. Oh, I see. Let me go ahead and bring up items to here. I said we can bring this to here. Okay, you get that. Be careful because they will try to uh, blast things open. And get fed. Alright, that's it. Right? Yep, perfect. So that was the first room, so much like these other enemy gauntlets, we have to light all the torches and then we are good. One of the, one of the columns is the money column, however the other place is easier to get to. Oh, hey! Hello there, friends. Oh yeah, I forgot. No. Let me take this out. Yeah. Hammer, please. There we go. Blast that there. And hammer for the insta kill. Perfect. Alright, so we're done inside this room. That's our second light. Alright, next up is going to be this one. What's our friends for here? Whiz robes! Alright, so still not enough. And these are the enemy responding ones. Let me target someone, please. Oh, thank you, bombs! And thank you. Alright then, so these guys just have a lot more health. I guess these are technically a different class of, uh... Oh. 
Of course, there had to be one more hanging out somewhere. And yeah, this class of wizard rogues are a lot more annoying. The enemy respawning now. Get out. Do more scout. Hey, Dale. Here, Mort. Everyone, line up. Alright, I think that's all of them now. Yep, there we go. Yeah, wizards are just annoying. Alright, we're done inside that room, so just one more and we are good here. So yeah, this is one of the Triforce areas. Alright, this is Boca Blend Room. You want these here? Alright, just, just regular green Boca Blends. So just do this. Quick spins real quick. Get out of here. And that's all of them. Perfect. So with this all done, big dark nuts have appeared in the room, including golden ones. Not quite the ultimate dark nut, but still, oof, because there's four of them. So friendly fire is your friend. Just target one of the weaker ones. All right, and let everyone go nuts. Friendly fire, once again, is the easiest way to take these guys out. Okay, wanna open yourself up. There yep, good enough there. You still, you still have your helmet on. All right, you up. Okay, you're good as dead. All right. You still being a jerk? Get out of here. All right, not too bad. Once again, just focus on one and do your regular thing. So, inside this room, once again, like the other one on Headstone Island, Potter is worth quite a bit of money. In case you need some. And then, we have the Wind's Requiem. Alright, let's open this up and get bonked. We have to hit another shard. Only five left to go. Which in all reality means two. Because we have three shards that we're going to head and redeem also. Before we do a massive salvaging spree, we are going to be doing a little bit more questing. Pretty much just to uh, salvage the rest of our remaining pieces of heart. Because this episode, we're getting up to 20. So, our next destination is going to be at Pawprint Island. So I'll see you all there. Alright then, here at Pawprint Island, our goal is going to be one of these. I don't know which one it is. Let's go ahead and uh, sail a little bit closer. Now one of these islands should have a hole in them. And our uh, gunship is going nuts. What an asshole! Snipe me from all the way over there! Man. You know, you're doing a better job than the other guys did. Let me tell you that. So I'm gonna guess it's this one here? Yep, this one has a hole in it. Alright, and inside here we have our souls. Another enemy gauntlet. Inside here, ah. Uh, Get annoyed. Come on, let me aggro. Alright, get that. Fire. So we get more of these. Let's take them out as fast as you can. Before they summon enemies. Ah, stupid game. Alright, that one's gone. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, summon your enemies. Where the hell are you? There you are. No, I don't want to aggro you guys! Here again. That's what I thought. Um, okay, these don't do the one shot. Okay, fine. That in. Electric cues. Alright, and take you out. Is that all of them? Arrow. Alright, last wave, I hope. And of course, it couldn't get off it in time. Now we gotta deal with more enemies. I hate the respawning anyone. No, don't target that link, you stupid. Target these Wizros. It can't be that hard. Just die, miserable death. Fire arrow. Blast it open. Bloody morts. <laughs> oh, I love with robes. Especially when they override targets. No, I don't want to target these guys. My magic's going down because I can't target the. F okay, fine. I'll do it this way. Because targeting this game is crap. Target this guy. Fire arrow. Target this guy. Fire. Fire. There we go. Is that. Is it that hard? Seriously, though, game. Is it that hard to do such a thing? Spin attack? Welcome to why I hate Wizards. Are we done here? Thank goodness. Sorry, I was getting very annoyed there. I just hate Wizards in this game. Yeah, if early encounters are not too bad when they're summoning enemies nonstop, and then your targeting system just freaks out because of it, it just. Really gets on my nerves. So, well, let's get our chest and get out of here. We obtain ourselves the final treasure chart of the game. This is only available in the HD version. In the original, it's like an orange ruby or something like that, but in HD, it's its own chart now, so we have every single chart in the game. Let's go ahead and open this up. Treasure chart 46. So, with that all done, our next destination is going to be Two-Eyed Reef. Not Two-Eyed, uh, Diamond Step Island. Alright, where's my ship? There we are. Can we get the swag jump? Ah. You know, you could have parked a little bit closer, King. Um, can I please get in? Left-right system, please. Cooperate. Alright. I'll see you guys at Diamond Step. Um, probably fast to go to, uh, outset. Alright, here at Diamond Step Island. What we need to do is just get close enough for the targeting system to lock on on. And there we go. And now we can finally climb Diamond Step Island. Oh boy, Diamond Step Island has something that I hate. Welcome to my least favorite area in the game. I hate this more than Tower of the Gods. For one, super obvious reasons. Also, we shoot jelly should you need it. I don't really care. Inside the fountain. Nothing to note. Yeah, there's always a hole here. Welcome to this fun house. So, we have ourselves a lot of magic pots here that we're going to climb on through. Alright, not too bad. Until you realize, it's full of floor masters. So yeah, see, so you gotta be careful because if they get too close... 
All right. So yeah, they'll try to grab you and pull you in, sending you back to the entrance. Okay, we got to the uh, actually the main destination we want to go to. So this one is a side pot. This is the only other available chest here. It contains a toy pendant. Our destination is going to be down somewhere. As you can see, we're locked in. So, only other way is back down here. We have ourselves two pots we need to go to. I think we want to go to this one. Because if you make the wrong turn, full show. Okay, we're doing good. Next up, I think we're going to go to this spot up here. Don't get floor mastered. Oh, that's all we need. Alright, fall in. Did we just first try this? Get away. Holy crap, we just first tried it. Um, if you want to go through this place fast, just do what I do. <laughs> I actually just blind guessed it. If you make the wrong turn, you get sent back to the entrance. We get the ghost ship's chart. I actually did not expect to first try it. Yeah, this place sucks. Because if you go through the wrong pot, then you get sent back to the entrance. If you get floor mastered, you get sent back to the entrance. Safe to say, I really don't like this area. Because it's full of floor masters, and you have to blindly guess. But thankfully, it's not terrible, but still, it sucks. We are done here. So, with this all done, we have the ghost ship chart. Which we are now able to, well... Head on into ghost ships. So where does red lines go? There we are. I want to line myself up. Um, this looks good. Spike flip. Oh, just a little short. All right then. So what exactly does the ghost chart ghost uh chart do? It shows you the location of where ghost ships are and in their corresponding cycles. I'm just looking through real quick. Where is the ghost chart? There we go. So, depending on the cycle of the moon, is when you will be able to encounter the ghost ship. If you want a fast way, of, well, I guess a way of doing this without a brute, for I guess brute forcing it, instead of going to the corresponding cycle where you go, because every single island has something. On a full moon, it's Crescent Island. On the uh, on the next cycle, will be um, uh, this island here, Diamond Step. Then Bomb Island. Then well, the Child Island. Then Five Reef Island, then uh, Star Belt Island, and then Great Fish Island, and then it'll go back and forth. You can't see which, which thing it is on the chart itself, so if you know where you gotta go, go there, otherwise you can wait at Diamond Step in order to wait it. Normally, <laughs> actually this is kind of funny because most of the time when I play through this game, the, the ghost ship is out here so we can get it immediately. Which works out all fine and dandy. Alright then, so, somewhere out here on the spooky high seas, should be a ghost ship, I think. Me thinks. Just gotta sail around the square a little bit. Hopefully it'll turn up. There we go. So now with the ghost ship chart in hand, you're able to head on in. Which is very good because, normally if you don't, then you can't do anything, so get close. And we can now head on in. Inside this cursed floor, we have ourselves some uh, enemies here. Including our good friend, the Wizro. Can I do that? Alright, so he's dead. Yeah, this guy here summons one of these guys. Alright, can we get the one cycle? Nope, okay. So it's gonna be regenerating, so. Heading on in here, some of these guys, that way they will depart to the afterlife, and you don't have to worry about too, them too much. So I'm too lazy to pull out my hammer. Blow up. Alright, there we go. Where did the guy go? Possess me! You can do it. Alright, there we go. Reverse controls. I hope that's all of them. As you can see, Link is a little bit confused. Yay, reverse controls. Is that all of them? Yep, perfect. 
Now then, coming on forward, do not stand on the chest. For some reason, it crashes your game on the original eight, on the original version. Just don't do it. Before you open up the chest, though, grab everything. You get a lot of money in here. Which is very nice, because you're going to need the money super soon. We obtained ourselves another chart. Only four left to go. And it's now daytime, so the ghost ship is now gone. So you can't farm there for rupees. So you might be wondering, how do we... So where's the remaining four? We already have the rest of them from our uh, side questing adventure. Otherwise, there's, there's a uh, chart on... Uh, um, Isle of the Seal. Shard on, um, uh, not the Kamana. Kamana is a shard. Headstone Island is a shard. I'm trying to remember. Um, there's a salvaging point somewhere else. Um, yeah, you got a salvage on Needle Island. Brain off. Thinking hard. So, yeah, so, with this all in, we are now here on Tingle Island, which we are going to be taking some pictures. The first thing to note here is that we have Knuckle. Knuckle is only here in the HD version of the game. Hey, Mr. Fairy! Mr. Fairy, you found all the Tingle statues. If it weren't for you, I'd never have been able to come back. Oh, thank you. I understand now when you say this place is the most beautiful place ever. The scenery would make a pictograph you could be proud of. Don't you agree? So this is him telling that you can take a pictograph of him. So yeah, so in the original, you don't need a pictograph. This is Knuckle. Knuckle is only here in the HD version. There is a way you can can view Knuckle in the HD version, but eh. So yeah, so um, I guess um, uh, placing this down. I was supposed to tell you where um you can find some continuous sources of of hundred rupees, but meh. I was throwing them out into the sea. Yeah, it's supposed to show you, tell you how to get some rupees, but eh. I like this in on Knuckle. So what's your grand reward for collecting all these single statues? Well, each of them showcase a location where you can consistently farm 100 rupees. Honestly, you're better off just farming a Headstone Island because Headstone Island is really good for farming. Alright, my computer has crashed again. This one I do, so. Heading up here, we have ourselves some Tingles Brothers. What are you doing? Thank you for the gift. I know that tingle statues are quite hard to come by. Um, it's not much, please. Take this. And we obtained 50 rupees per statue. Ah, you've gotten them all. Please wait a moment, as usual. So here, for gathering all five tingle statues, it's 500 rupees. So you get a lot of money, but it's not quite enough. But it is a good thing. So Hifo, as you can see, Tingle is making his brothers go all around. I don't remember their names. I'm just taking the pictures now. Hifo, oh, uh, this is so heavy. Just between you and me. But this guy has another brother. Sorry. If that guy could just come spin this thing instead of me. Hifo. Oh. So yeah, so Tingle is extorting his brothers. All right. Oh, Mr. Fairy! I've been longing to see you, sir! What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That fragrant, musty scent. Sir, have you found a chart? Splendid! Splendid! Show me! Show me! Why? You can't read that chart in the current state. Impossible, sir! Would you like me to cipher it for you for 398 rupees? Extortion! Tingle! Tingle! Konium! Bah! Become readable! And we have our chart deciphered. In the original, all the uh, shards that were changed in the HD version are charts. So, what's your grand total now? If it will come to it, there we go. In the original, you'd have to pay 3,184 rupees, when the cap is only 500. In HD, you only need 1,194 rupees. Let's go ahead and decipher these. Tingle! Tingle! Gilliam! Bah! 
become readable. Alright, there we go. I wish I can decipher your last chart. Tingle! Tingle! Become readable! Alright then. Hmm? Mr. Fairy, you must try very hard try very hard to find treasure. When you select an opening chart on the menu, you can go forth. Then you can go to that place and rely on your chart to help you find the treasure. So yeah. We just save like a lot of money by doing that. Hooray for HD being quality of life upgrades! Just a little short, so yeah, so that's really it there. Don't worry, the Tingle statues do respawn, but as for sources of money, Headstone Island is just its superior. So, with this all done, we now have every single chart in the game. So, here we are able to, well, finish things up. So, try for chart number one is at Great Fish. Chart number two is going to be at somewhere. Number three is going to be somewhere else. So yeah, Stone Watcher Island and then Cliff Plateau Island. There are a few others also in the original, but these were changed to f charts 43 through 46, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, like 42, 43, something like that. So with this all done, it is time for us to salvage all the remaining treasure in the game. We've come so far. With this, I'll see you all at Greyfish Island for the next uh, shard. Alright, here at Greyfish Island, our first destination is going to be right up here. We have ourselves our thing here. I'm going to do some salvaging real quick. It's an Aegis! All right, we have Tana Shard. Only three left to go. Next up, Stone Watcher. I'll see you all there. I guess Islet of Armor. I guess Islet of Seal. There we go. Not the Isle of Armor. Though I will be honest, I do like the Isle of Armor and Sword and Shield. I don't know. It's a good premise of what's going forward for Pokemon. No idea how the new Pokemon games will be, but Isle of Armor just—it's chill. It's nice. It's vibing. So here on the Cellscape Island, just look where we need to go. This looks good. Emergency break! So yes, this is one of the places where you can find a shard at. I guess one of the charts. Alright, Silver Rupee. Next square to the south. we go. Okay, Bird's Peak Isle is what I was thinking of. I thought there was one I was forgetting, so Bird's Peak Island was the one with the, uh, last, uh, chart. Yeah, the one that we, uh, sn we broke into. So here on 2-Eyed Reef, our goal is going to be there in the back. I think this is a chart. Not a chart, a, uh, not a chart, but a piece of heart. It's just a little bit dangerous through here because there's a lot of enemies here. Don't nuke me. I just need to go here. Hooray! Silver Rupee! I'll see you all on uh, Stonewatcher Island next. Hey! Behave! Alright, so here at Stonewatcher Island, we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. Instead of solving where we need to go, what happens if we go throw off a little bit in an area that doesn't have anything? Oh. It's still counted! I gotta show it off one more time. Okay, only two more shards left. Um, do I reef? I'll see all down there. Alright, here on 2-Eye Reef. Now that we're finally here, let's go ahead and do our next salvage, which should be a piece of heart. Salvage here, I think. Yep, bingo. Another piece of heart. Two down, two to go. 
Next up, we're gonna head to uh, Cliff Island for the next shard. All right, decided to go on ahead and uh, update my uh, Nintendo gallery since we picked up a lot of things. <sighs> so close. Oh well then, so with this all done, we're gonna head to Stonewatcher Island next. Yes, that's Stonewatcher uh, Cliff Island. Stonewatcher is where you farm money. Cliff Island is where we get one of the uh, shards at. Alright, so next thing I want to show off is what happens if you're really off your mark in terms of salvaging. Since we know the thing is there, let's salvage a round out here. Oh man, did it look come up with a little guff again? So upon doing that, a uh, squid, an Octorok will come out. Great. Yep, another miss. So yeah, so we're obviously um, encroaching on some enemy's territory. There we go. <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> fast animations. And we obtain another shard. Only one more to go until we're in go mode. Next up, Bomb Island, since I'm sure that there's a good check there. Yeah, it's funny because it's actually used in the real world where, uh, where, like, there's some litter out into sea, such as spots in order to capture octopi, and then you haul them up, then you bring them up within, that's kind of their habitat, and yeah. Truth in television, I guess. So coming up here is Bomb Island, which will be the next piece of heart. The penultimate piece of heart. Right up here. Let's go ahead and salvage. Alright, piece of art. One piece of art left in the game. Let's go get it. <laughs> That's gonna be up this way. This is will this will be the final piece of art if you're playing HD. If you're playing center definition, the final piece of art is somewhere not fun. The Japanese GameCube, you can't actually have 20 hearts right now. Japanese GameCube and HD. Center definition, GameCube, we'll get to that in the next episode. So we're starting to run. Pretty low on time. I know this episode was a longer episode, but I just want to condense everything down into one so that way we're all good for the next episode. So here we go. The last salvage point of the game. So, go ahead and salvage. Bring us back some local snacks to here. Twenty hearts. We are pretty healthy. So, with this all done, we only have one place left to go before we're going down to uh I rolled to finish things out. We're just missing one shard left. I don't know, I feel like it's going to be in the worst place possible. A famous place. A savage place. So here on Outset Island, there is one location we have not been to yet. And that is on top of that cliff. The top of that cliff leads to probably the hardest challenge of the game. Next time in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, up in that cliff lies the Savage Labyrinth. As you can tell, it sounds savage. It is savage. It's probably the hardest challenge of the game. Thank goodness we're up to 20 hearts. I'll see you all then.